Ever wondered how machines learn to classify data? Well, it all begins with a concept known as binary classification. Binary classification is a fundamental part of machine learning. It's all about categorizing data into one of two groups. Yes, you heard it right, just two groups. It's like asking a simple yes or no question. But don't let its simplicity fool you. This basic concept is a powerhouse in machine learning and it's applied in various sectors. In healthcare, binary classification helps in diagnosing diseases. In finance, it aids in detecting fraudulent transactions. And in social media, it's used to filter spam messages. It's truly fascinating how this simple concept can have such a profound impact. So, binary classification is the starting point of machine learning's ability to make sense of the world. But how does binary classification actually work? Well, let's delve into it. At its core, binary classification uses algorithms to sort data into two distinct categories. Think of it as a sophisticated game of either-or. It's binary after all, so there are only two options. Let's consider some of the common algorithms used in binary classification. First up, we have logistic regression. This algorithm uses probability to predict whether data belongs in one category or the other. Then, we have decision trees. These algorithms create a model that predicts the class of an input by asking a series of if-then questions about the data. Lastly, we have support vector machines. These algorithms plot each data item as a point in n-dimensional space with the value of each feature being the value of a particular coordinate. Then it performs classification by finding the hyperplane that best divides the dataset into two classes. But here's the kicker. These algorithms aren't specifically programmed to make these decisions. Instead, they learn from training data. That's right, these algorithms are learners, just like us. They take in information from the past, analyze it, and then use what they've learned to make predictions about the future. So, when you feed these algorithms new data, they're able to categorize it based on what they've learned from the training data. In essence, these algorithms learn from past data to predict future outcomes. So, what are the steps involved in binary classification? Well, binary classification is not a one-step process. It's a journey that starts with gathering data. The data is the foundation of any machine learning project. The better the data, the better the results. This data could come from a variety of sources such as databases, web scraping, or even manual entry. Next, we prepare the data. This step is all about cleaning and transforming the data into a format that our chosen algorithm can process. This might involve removing outliers, filling in missing values, or normalizing numerical data. It's a lot like preparing a meal. You need to chop, mix, and season your ingredients before you can start cooking. Now, we're ready to choose a suitable algorithm. There are a variety of algorithms to choose from, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. The choice of algorithm depends on the nature of the data and the problem at hand. It's like picking the right tool for the job. Once we've chosen our algorithm, it's time to train it using the training data. This is where the algorithm learns to make predictions by finding patterns in the data. It's like teaching a child to recognize shapes by showing them examples. Finally, we test the algorithm using test data. This gives us a measure of how well the algorithm is likely to perform on unseen data. It's the final exam, if you will. Each step in the process of binary classification is crucial in ensuring the accuracy of the results. What are the takeaways about binary classification? Binary classification is a fundamental concept in machine learning. It's all about identifying which of two classes an instance belongs to, like determining if an email is spam or not, or if a transaction is fraudulent. The process involves training a model on labeled data, and then using this model to predict classes for new unseen data. It's pivotal to know that binary classification is not a one-size-fits-all solution. There are different algorithms to choose from, such as logistic regression, decision trees, and support vector machines, each with their own strengths and weaknesses, and the best choice often depends on the specific problem at hand. Moreover, Binary classification isn't just confined to academic exercises, it has real-world applications in a plethora of sectors, from healthcare to finance, and from social media to cybersecurity. Binary classification therefore is a cornerstone of machine learning, powering numerous applications that we encounter daily. 